Join Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Coffee in a mug and water in a mason jar. Kick back and eat giant cinnamon rolls. Big bear. <laughs> Which looks awesome. I like that a lot. The oh, the plowman's lunch. Yeah. I heard they're the best in the world. It is so good. That is good. I see what you mean. Gatlinburg is located in eastern Tennessee and is known as the gateway to the Smoky Mountains. The beautiful drive to the high energy mountain town culminates in opportunities to enjoy some of the most beautiful sweeping views the east has to offer. The town still keeps much of its rugged mountaineer charm while adding attractions that invite fun and take advantage of the picturesque landscape. With all there is to do in Gatlinburg, it can get congested on the strip. So we have restaurant picks in the downtown area as well as on the outskirts, depending on your dining preference. <laughs> Named for an 1800s frontiersman and soldier, Crockett's Breakfast Camp opens early to quickly get you out to explore the Smoky Mountains. They have an abundance of sweet items highlighted by their massive shareable cinnamon rolls. The atmosphere is like a scene from a hunter's log cabin complete with mounted head trophies, animal skins, and a warm fireplace. What appears to be a newspaper is the menu. They are not short on savory goods, including their cat head stackers, Cherokee sweet corn pone, and the yes, Elk Mountain yes, Grande yes. Burrito. Kick back and eat giant cinnamon rolls. Look at the family size cinnamon rolls. Coffee in a mug. Water in a mason jar. That's what you expect. So this is the corn beef hash. I got grits. Eggs over easy. It's a biscuit. Yeah. Looks like a roll. I know. <laughs> this not expected. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting this. Fried bologna. You're gonna have to send this to Jared. <laughs> That's right. I think he likes it. Here, let me too. I can take a picture. I'll send a picture of this. This one's for you, Jared. For fried bologna. <laughs> oh look, I got some of the corn pone. With you in the with the fire in the background. That's really cool. Look at my color. I like these salt salt and pepper shakers. Meals is, this has been one of my biggest struggles of getting it all down. That is just a lot of food for breakfast. And I'm struggling with a happy plate here. Big bear. Tennessee Jed's is a Gatlinburg staple that turns out excellent breakfast classics, sandwich favorites, and Frito pies. If you're already downtown, there may be no better place for excellent grab-and-go food. But we found ourselves truly grabbing on the run as we couldn't even find a parking spot during the busy noon hour.
I'm gonna say that's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I complain about it. There's my happy tray. The Chesapeake Seafood and Raw Bar offers seafood that is flown in daily and pairs it with micro brews, local and international wines, as well as handcrafted cocktails. The atmosphere is notably upscale and nautical, a refreshing far cry from many of the home cooking alternatives in Gatlinburg. And their side items are so exquisite, they just may rival the main course. This place might be a little upscale for Gatlinburg, but it's got a river. <laughs> I got the blackened grouper, and my side was actually a spinach marina, which looks awesome. You should try this. Good. Old Smoky Moonshine is a Gatlinburg tradition, selling a variety of moonshine flavored whiskeys and spiked fruit. If you're not sure what turns your crank, mosey on up to any of the counters and get a sampling of the spirits they have to offer. Grove and a little bit of bald eagle urine. <laughs> Cheers, guys. They say you can drink a whole that you don't wake up hungover in the morning. You wake up feeling like George Washington. He's dead. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. It's on the sweeter side. Yeah, whenever you got it ready, I'm not going to park this up on the wind to put the pickle in my mouth. I like that a lot. Trish's Mountain Diner is located a good eight miles east of the downtown Gatlinburg Strip. Away from the hustle and bustle, you will have no problems parking at this mainstay for traditional breakfast dishes. Folks rave over the French toast, but I found the breakfast bowl to be perfect as I selected the exact ingredients I wanted. The down-home diner atmosphere is well paired with excellent staff service. Of tomatoes? Is that like a typical side? breakfast bowl here so you can just customize it with whatever you want lots of vegetables and one egg The Rampant Lion is a relaxed Scottish influenced pub with an extensive wine and whiskey menu and plenty of beer choices too. You immediately get the deep sense of care that goes into every dish as the creator of the menu and your server are one and the same. It appears that hubby is in the back cooking up everything to order. This is a hidden gem in Gatlinburg as her traditional Celtic pub fare is no doubt the best you can find this side of the pond. But I went with this Leatherwood Snake Eater. Oh, the Plowman's Lunch. The Plowman's Lunch. And this is Branston 
pickles that she talked about there. The rest of it just looks like, yeah, you've got your vegetables and some good meat over at the side. I think we're good. Okay. So you have fish and chips, mm -hmm. and I noticed that they are uh, served on newspaper. Mm -hmm. I heard they're the best in the world. That's right. And look at those fries. <laughs> those look awesome. Wow. This is my shepherd's pie with the Russell's cup. Are you still willing to give some up? Oh, I guess. <laughs> okay. Even though not quite the authentic sort of order, they were able to make it black and tan. Look at that. That looks awesome. We got this to go, but it's not making <laughs> it's not making it out the door. Just guilty as charged. It's just, it's just like, like it is so good. Wow. Yeah, just close it. Just close it. Do you have a lock? <laughs> okay, this I'm not opening this up, but I do just want to say that we passed up the spot at Dick to be able to get this. <laughs> that, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Red Oak Bistro may be touted as one of a kind in Gatlinburg, but I think it's a unique cafe within the entire Southeast. Operated by a husband and wife team, their passion for serving up genuine Eastern European cuisine is obvious and appreciated. The tapas style is perfect for sampling a variety of the tasty treats. The upscale smoked salmon is just as scrumptious as the peasant sliced beets. Don't forget to pair it with one of their grand selections of wine, bourbon, or beer. Was this is the Mediterranean flatbread? Very good. That's good. Like it's good. delicate and hearty at the same time. <laughs> delicate and hearty. Yeah, you're right. That's a unique, it's a unique combination. Don't you agree? Here. I see what you mean. Mad Dog Ice Cream and Donuts has your sweet tooth satisfied at the beginning or the end of the day. Do what we did. Stop in the evening for a healthy dose of ice cream on a cone while you grab a variety of the scrumptious donuts for the morning after. Great way to consume those calories you'll burn up climbing Mount LeConte or Charlie's Bunny. We want to thank you for joining us for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.